Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Westbridge Hills map from the Titanium DLC. And I got part of this grass field planted here. And yeah, we're definitely good half done. Do need to uh, clean up some of the bits on the ends in the middle where he skipped or where I pushed a V from running other machinery, but... So we'll get this guy going again. And let's see, you're still set on grass, correct? Yep. Okay, and we'll hire him and he'll do his uh, thing again. And then he will follow suit in the planting a little bit different crop, but uh, we'll get planting wheat, I believe, I have in this thing. Pretty sure it's wheat. Wheat, yep. Uh, from last episode, I did manage to uh, get this thing emptied. I emptied it into, let's see if we can go over there. Not that one. Uh, I managed to empty the canola into this trailer here. So I'm not sure if it just didn't like this uh, wagon or what, but anyway, I pulled this uh, trailer up there. Didn't have any trouble emptying it, so we'll have to see once maybe when it comes time to empty that wheat if, uh, if it's a problem with these trailers, wagons, I have no idea. Anyway, we'll uh, get going on that. So let's see what's here. Like I said, way too many keys on these things here. Uh, start cedar B. And then if we switch to the back, we gotta go N. Okay. And we should probably start the tractor. Okay, and I do have the GPS mod. We'll see if we can get this to work without incident here. That's going to be control zero. Okay, and I need to close the markers. So that's going to be close markers, numpad two. That's going to turn that on. Shut them off. Now I need to change the offset on here. I gotta look up the uh, key for that here a moment. Let's see, where did I write that down? Uh, control plus and minus changes the width. It should already be set to the width. Oh yeah, why? Handbrake. Okay, offset uh, control. Interesting. Okay, according to the control that's written down, it's control offset left right is control plus high pitcher down. Interesting. Okay. Ah, there we go. Push control enter and that will uh, zero it, I guess. That'll work. Yeah, I got the controls written down here. I just uh, took it right off the uh, mod itself. It comes with a uh, readme file that comes with a GPS mod. And reading it says, uh, according to the information, now maybe someone on YouTube can help me with this, uh, offset manual is control plus or control plus high pitcher pitcher down. What key is that? Interesting. Anyway, we should be all set, I believe. And, yep, we are planned. Excellent. 
And if we go to the tank information here, I got the front uh, tank, which is the smaller tank, loaded with fertilizer. And I have the rear tank loaded with wheat. So, And I planted one field already off screen and basically completely emptied the planter. That's why it's already partially full. I had to refill it again to finish that field. And it uh, came out almost perfect for fertilizer versus the uh, seeds. I had just a little bit of fertilizer left over, so... Now with this uh, GPS mod you can also set it to uh, steer automatically so if I do a control W I believe it is it'll basically lock the steering in down that uh, green line that's there. Okay that's going to open that, that's interesting. Oh good, I can clip through the tree, excellent. Oh, maybe not. That was bad. That's some clothes markers. Shut that back up. That's one annoying thing with this. Uh, the two key turns the four ways on and off for this tractor, so. More than likely, we will not have enough seed to finish this field because I've seeded field, uh, get my numbers right here, 15. And it, uh,. Got yeah, almost done and I had to refill the seeds, so. Took a lot of seed to seed that field. manure do we got? Because I just happened to have an idea while I was uh, seeding here. Let's see what's here. Number four. Page four. Productivity 0%. Oh, come on now. Uh, manure. 86,000. We might actually have enough to uh, do another uh, manure run on that field. Just stop here a moment. Let's uh, shut that cedar off. That's B. And do I have a tractor down there? I do. I got the Bure. That probably is not going to work because I'm going to need a. Yeah, I'm going to need someone with a front end loader. Let's see if we can uh, course play this. I believe I have the field down here cultivated. I don't think I planted it yet, if I recall. As far as I know, I just did this uh, field right here, so... And then obviously we've got the big field that we just purchased here, plant being planted in grass. And boy, that should be a lot of grass once we get that all planted. Yeehaw! Also, I should note, uh, if we look at my prices, my prices are back where they should be. I got rid of that nasty, more realistic mod. So, okay, start, let's see, what field is this before I, uh, 21, okay. Of course, by the time I finish recording this, I'll probably have forgotten which field number this is, but, uh, you know, at least I can say I looked. The next question I'm going to have is how wide is that manure spreader? 
Not entirely sure. I'm thinking under normal conditions, you probably can't actually, or with the normal stuff that comes with the game, I probably should say, uh, the vehicles and equipment. I don't think you can course play the uh, manure spreading of the field. I could be wrong on that, but uh, I don't think you can very well. But since we've got that uh, conveyor belt, we should be able to load them up with uh, manure without any trouble, I'm hoping. We'll find out here. And yeah, what I'm doing right now, I'm just driving around the edge of the field to uh, set the markers for this field again. That's basically the uh, starting point for any of these up and down the field courses, like we did with the mower there, or if we're going to harvest or plant or basically anything like that. That's it. There's our start point. I'll just kind of drive up to it there. And stop course recording. And we're going to field, uh, yeah, field that. We're going to save that as field 21 markers. Okay, and I don't need that on this tractor, I don't think. Hopefully the Bueller can handle it just fine. I have to see if I can figure out what the width of that uh, manure spreader is. I'm not sure if it says in the shop or not. We'll have to look. Okay, and the first thing we got to do is get it out of here. And we can probably just dump this in this uh, wagon over here. That should uh, work, hopefully. There we go. Okay, I was hoping to get in there a little farther than that, because I want this kind of in as far as I can get it. That'll probably work. Hopefully that'll work, because I'm thinking, of course I'm pointing at the screen here, that don't help you guys a whole lot, but if he, uh, we get out of the tractor here, I'm hoping the newer guy can basically drive right along the edge of this here, with a manure spreader, and hopefully he'll fill up, that should, that should work, hopefully, at least that's the, uh, theory, we'll get our old trusty rusty viewer here, See if we drive along and will he fill up? Uh, sort of will. Sort of, maybe, maybe not. There we go. Have to make sure we get in nice and tight. Now, the only question is will course play actually recognize that and stop and fill up there? That will be the next question. Okay, 
Okay, and this looks like probably as good as place as any. Reset that. We're going to start the course recording. And this will be our load manure course. Now, if we do the uh, liquid manure, it's not that hard because you pretty much just drive right up to that tank there. Boom, loads up. You, know, you don't have to have any conveyor belts, uh, front end loaders, any of that fancy schmancy stuff. Yeah, make sure we get in nice and tight here. Hopefully that will be uh, tight enough. Yep, I've never done this before, so this is kind of my uh, first uh, experiment with this. Never seen it done either, so... But I don't uh, see why it wouldn't work. I have no doubts you'll spread the manure. I'm not too concerned about that. It's the... Uh, well, Reload. That's the, uh, that will be the problem. So, okay, we're going to stop that. And we'll save that as something here. Let's see what's here. Field 21, poo load. Yeah, that, that, that should work. Okay, next question is how wide is this? Uh, loading volume 15, maintenance, yeah, blah, 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 doesn't say. Okay, I guess we're going to have to uh, find out. Actually, you know what if I do here? If I turn this on, just for a quick moment there. I need to load up field 21 markers. And then if I do this, it'll show that red thingy majiggy there. And we can see, hopefully, get relatively close to how wide this is. Change it a little bit more. Looks like maybe 15, I think, will be pretty close. And now, this will be the northwest corner, and we're going to go east. And then I also want to load up uh, load poo. There we go. That'll hopefully, uh... Get us somewhere, hopefully. We'll find out. Actually, what, uh... No, actually, I think I want this one. I'm not sure why it opens up that tab. I don't think I have to have anything there that I know of. Fertilizing, I'm pretty sure that's the one we gotta have. Let's uh, drive course and see what he does. gonna waste our poo, that's what he's gonna do. Which I can't turn it off either. Let's actually stop him because he might have started it uh see if we can get him to start on the field.
Okay, I don't seem to do something. It was six point something, so we'll leave that be. Turning, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Not sure why he's going down that part of the field. I'll just let him do his thing and uh, see once what happens. Okay, and you're done, or so you think. Uh, he's got both the, uh, let's see, what are these things called again? Ah, uh, left and right attachers. Okay. Oh yeah, he's got the disc down, yeah, okay. Of course, I close it about the time we uh, get over and start the other cedar. That'll probably pop back open again. Uh, I'll leave that open because as soon as we start the cedar, that will definitely uh, close the top of that. We'll just hire him. And away he goes again. There we go, if we activate the auto steer, which is uh, control W, the uh, control key also turns off the four wheel drive on this uh, tractor. So every time you push control to do anything with a GPS mod, it turns on and off the four wheel drive. I do have it overlapping somewhat. I don't have it real, uh, as you can see, I don't have it real tight to the uh, edges. So we do overlap a little bit. It gives me a little bit of, you know, wiggle room. Because, yeah, when I'm driving, it's not going to be that uh, straight a line. Now, generally speaking, I still usually prefer to drive myself, even though I got the GPS mod on. It just kind of helps me uh, keep it lined up without having to constantly look back and check. Let's see, if we turn the... Uh status mod on here. Can we see our manure guy? Ah oh, yes, the Bueller plus the Ursus N270. I'm assuming that's the manure. He is empty. Okay, big surprise there. Question is, will he fill himself? Well, I'll get to the end of this row here, and I'll uh, tab over there and uh, check and see once what he's up to. Now, the one problem with the cedar is you have to have a pretty wide turn with it. So when you get to the end of the field, you really got to turn a big old wide turn. Okay, he is doing something. No 
idea what he's doing. Looks like he's going to the load course. No. He's going to drive around the field. <coughs> sure what he's doing here. He should be taking into account this, uh, this, but maybe not. Let's, uh, stop him. Set him on that. Actually, let me reset the whole business here. Let's, uh, load up field 21 markers. And let's load up that. Okay, maybe I gotta load that up. Okay, how come it's not giving me the generate here? Okay, there we go. Generate course. Put him on that, maybe, probably, I'm thinking. Okay, now let's see what's what he does. I'm not sure what that uh, ridge marker business is about. That's the only thing I'm not uh, sure about. Okay, he's got 4% uh, manure, so that means he went under the uh, load point. Which means the load point worked, but I'm guessing he just kept on driving. I was afraid of that. He wasn't going to recognize that as the point he's got to stop. Let me uh, hire this guy. Let's see if we can go uh, deal with that a moment. Stop the driver. Let's uh, reset the course. Let's uh, delete that. Let's start the course recording again, and there's one more thing we can do to make sure he will uh, stop there and wait for the fertilizer to load. Or the manure in this case. Manure is fertilizer after all, so... Okay, then we're going to set a waiting point there. And 
that should basically mean he'll stop there and wait. And what are we stuck on? Are we stuck on something? I guess we were. Okay, and stop that. Hopefully that's not too close there. They won't uh, cause a problem. And then we'll save this one. Okay. And reset it. And we're going to load up field 21 markers. We're going to set uh, this up to generate the core. Should be everything right there. And then we're going to... I guess that's the start-stop point there. We'll drive them up to that. Help them out a little bit. And then we're going to load up the fill. and drive course. And hopefully this time he'll work. I'm not sure what he was doing driving around the field. I probably didn't have the uh, courses loaded in the right order, I'm guessing. Okay, and we'll leave him to his terrific, uh, terrific job there. Okay, as soon as the hard work gets down to the end of the field, there I'll uh, take over again. And I guess as long as I can do uh, control enter and it resets the uh, the GPS line there, then I should be okay. I'm not sure what the manual offset is. Control high, pitcher pitcher down. Uh, what what kind of key? combination presses that. Oh. What in the world did he stop there for? Interesting. Make sure we shut that off again. That is kind of annoying. Okay, is it just me or is that steering wheel like up really high or something? Or are we like really low in the seat? Yeah, I don't think I'm imagining things here, folks. I think we're sitting low or something. I'm not sure what, uh... Fine, I'll drive in the outside view. <laughs> uh, okay, that looks a little better, maybe. I don't think there's any way to adjust the seat that I know of. Yeah, we're definitely sitting low for some reason. Not sure what's up with that.
Okay, and he's loaded up with manure. The only thing is, he went to 5% and he... Either it's not, uh... Close enough, or... Or he kept on going. Let's uh, hire our worker again and let him go to town and figure out what happened over here. Actually, it looked like he continued on his own. I'm not sure if I actually clicked that or he continued on his own, so. Okay, and we'll take over again. Yeah, still seating? Yeah, perfect. Okay, it's going to be a tight turn here. Yeehaw. Yeah, for those of you who ever played the uh, more realistic mod, you know, that hill we just went up there with a the planter. Good luck uh, getting up that hill with a small tractor. That's always the, I was going to say fun. That's really not the right word, fun, but uh, trying to go up hills and stuff with a more realistic mod installed. Yeehaw. Absolute murder. I haven't had any uh, rain in my game yet, but supposedly that makes a difference as well, so... Speaking of rain, I don't... Damn, how many days of... Well, we got some rain coming up, I guess. It basically never rains in this uh, Farming Sim 2013, it seems like, so... Not that I'm really complaining, but... Oh, tree. Hello. Yeah, I did that on the uh, other field as well. Kind of looked around for a minute, turned around, and hello, tree there. Okay, we got uh, 57,000 manure left. We're burning through it pretty quick. We got uh, 249 liquid manure though, so... Yeah, the liquid manure seems like it generates a whole lot faster. Although we still probably won't have any close to enough of that to cover all the fields we have. At least not all the time anyway. Okay, go on and crash into our wagons. Oops. Yeah, I probably should have made a pass or two up the side of this field here so I didn't have to turn quite so tight, but oh well. Let's see. This guy is almost done. 
This guy is still spreading the poo. Ooh, he's empty. Let's uh, watch him a moment. Okay, that's the wrong one. There we go. Let's uh, see once what he does. Interesting, he drives down to the stop point there. I'm not sure why he would do that, but... <clears throat> whatever. Now he should drive over to the loading point here. Start that course. Yep, cows, make sure you produce lots more poo. We need more uh, poo. We're almost out, so. That is the uh, one slight concern I have with this, because once we uh, get really low, we may have trouble picking it up with a conveyor belt here, so. Okay, and he continues on his own. I do not actually have to press continue there. That is nice. So all you have to do is set a waiting point. And he uh, apparently recognizes that once he's 100% full and drives off again. Well, that is just cool. And how come you're not going? It's a good question. How come we ain't going? Ah, uh, tractor was off. Okay. Why was the tractor off, though? Well, everyone, I think I'll uh, call it an episode here. I will uh, finish planting this field off screen. And we'll probably finish up a new manuring this field over there. And, uh, yeah, we'll finish up the grass field there as well. That is almost done. In fact, he may be done. Not quite, just a little bit. You'll probably think he's done, though. Nope, guess not. He's going to go and finish that a little bit. Good. So, yep, we'll call it an episode here. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time.